that's a good question that what I do when uh, people have a stiff resistance to change and they are suffering from a lot of challenges in their life anxiety, stress, anger, depression, loss of self-esteem, overeating, substance abuse. No doubt science has developed many uh, techniques that are helping these suffering people. And because of the conditioned mind and the suffering, patients do not like to change. So question comes, how we should help in the vegan? The famous expert David Byrne says that are we overlooking patients seeking comfort? We created many practices that help overcome resistance to change. He changes the resistance by engaging the patients by asking the questions to inspire them to change. But question comes, what about the Eastern wisdom? And uh, human mind is very intricate. Human mind is very intricate. And I have reasons to say that based on the Eastern psychology, that it is more subjective than objective. I look at you, it is the mind. I look at the thing, I look at an event, I look at my suffering. So be in the background, it is the same mind. So when the mind looks at the suffering, that mind becomes the suffering. So there the Eastern wisdom starts helping people from the subjective reality. And this reality is the self. We can name anything. It may be the higher mind. It may be the mind always at peace. So first of all, the Eastern wisdom says that we have potentials for peace, happiness, love and wisdom. Second point is that the Eastern wisdom helps people suffering from these problems is to maintain awareness that they are not the patients. They are not even the clients. They are the human being who has the tremendous potential. My master always used to say, we are of the nature of peace, happiness, love and wisdom. We are essentially made of So when the clients ask you, where are they? They are deep within beyond mind that is causing your suffering. So in my personal experiences, I never consider any person as a patient, as a client. They are my good friends. They are first the human being. So the third point once we understand that they are also the same human being, the third point is to give them the rest and relaxation practice that takes hardly five to seven minutes. Recent advances in neuroscience has understood how mindfulness, relaxation practices can fire the brain to rewire it. Most of us, we miss the principles of the Eastern wisdom. If the mindfulness, for example, is effortless, where the mind does nothing. If the mind does nothing, it does not fall into cause and effect relationship. Then there is something essential within us beyond the mind. And that is the real self. So Eastern wisdom can help overcome the resistance by the people who are suffering. They are just the chains and we can definitely help them. I always ask, do you want to relax? 
The first question I ask people who come to me, do you want to relax? The moment they say yes, and I say, okay, close your eyes and let us start. It takes only five minutes. It raises their awareness that takes them to the right perception to find the cause of their problem and the suffering. And the rapport is established. Eastern wisdom inspires us to become clear in the mind. Or I would rather say that we help our friends to raise their awareness that they are not the label. Label is not important. They are important. What it means? First, we are human beings. Then comes the label. I'm the husband, I'm the wife, I'm the son and daughter. Then again, the next layer of the label comes. I'm stressed, I'm depressed, I'm anxious and suffering. Without being a human being, we can never be husband, wife and suffering. The moment client understands it and separates him and her from these labels, all resistance to the change, drops and they start working towards their own evolution and gradually they by simple easy practices they can help themselves manage their anxiety reduce their stress and improve their well-being <laughs>